Uh, good afternoon, teachers. My name is Jagat, and I welcome you all on the behalf of Shri Aurobindo Society. So this is the series where I share with you every day some of the great innovative ideas given by the teachers of different state. So today I'm going to share with you the innovative ideas given by the teachers of Uttarakhand. So if you are a teacher who is joining us for the first time, and if you are a teacher who want to know that how do we share these innovative ideas, how you can share your innovative ideas with us, or how, how we collect and what are the parameters, what are the conditions that we select your innovative ideas so that you can also become our innovative teacher. So if you have such questions, so you can ask me in the comment box or in the chat box, I would love to read and reply your all the questions and queries. And if you are a teacher who, who has already joined us and who watch our videos, so I believe that you teacher must be implementing something innovative idea in your school. So today I'm going to share with you the second part of the innovative, uh, innovative ideas and the case study is new age teaching technique. So in the, in the before, in the first part, I shared with you five innovative ideas, which were given by the teachers of Uttarakhand. And today I'm going to share with you another five innovative ideas, which is, which are the next part of the, those that case study. So I'm going to share with you. So you please uh, comment and tell us that what questions do you have in your mind? And so we can get it and we can reply you as soon as possible. So teachers now let's start and let's talk about our today's case study that is new age teaching technique. So as I shared with you in the first part that new age teaching technique is the way when there are teachers, they keep implementing some, you know, uh, some ideas in their school, some different, some, uh, something new in their schools. So which uh, improve the learning of the student and which improve the, the performance of the student. So those, you know, those ideas are, uh, are if they come in our this case study that is new age teaching technique. So let's talk about our first innovative idea that is teach and share. So teach and share and we can say that the newspaper, the students newspaper also in the students newspaper, the student teach and share what they learn. So now let's talk about this innovative idea, students newspaper. So what happens in newspaper? We all know that uh, we all uh, we all read newspapers in our schools and uh, and in our classrooms also. And sometimes teachers bring to give students some newspapers. And at the home, I believe most of us we read newspapers, and most of the, most of the time we keep reading those newspapers mostly in morning. So what are the things? What are the information which we get from those newspapers? So we all know that newspaper is all about the information. That is a hub of information. We can get a lot of information uh, like about countries, about the games, about the states and of so on very, there are many different kinds of categories are there to get information. So how teacher implements this innovative idea in the classroom? Now let's understand that. So the teacher comes in the classroom and teachers uh, shares with all the students, the students, we are going to have one, uh, one activity in our classroom from today. What you are going to do students first, you are going to teach your students, uh, your other fellow classmates and, and you are going to learn first and then you are going to teach. But we are not going to learn from the book. We are going to learn from the newspaper. So teacher comes in the classroom. So teacher uh, give all the students some newspapers, the cutting of the newspaper, which teacher can bring, or we can ask any student also to bring that cutting from the house. If somebody has, we will not ask any student to buy any newspaper or any other paper cutting. We will not ask anyone. So the, the resources which are available in the school, the newspaper or the newspaper which is available at the home, we will use only that newspaper. So after that, the ones teacher brings the cutting in the classroom and the teacher gives that cutting to all the other students, the students. So this is the cutting which you have right now. And you, I, I give you some time. In this some time, what you have to do is you have to write that what is the summary of this cutting and what do you understand by this cutting? And after that, you are going to share with other students, what is this news? What do you understand and how it is important for us? So like this, all the students, they keep fighting with the mind that yes, what is this cutting? What are we going to learn by it? What are the things which we will know today by this cutting only? So they have a lot of things to know, a lot of things to try. So they keep trying uh, these things to know 
more and more about it. So after that, what happens? All the students they come one by one on the stage, and after coming on the stage, they keep uh, keep sharing what is in the cutting. For an example, uh, as we all know that this is the time where we see a lot of pollution in Delhi. So at that time, any student has a cutting of Delhi's uh, newspaper, which is like which is talking about the pollution, which is talking about the increment, uh, the in uh, like how the pollution is increasing in Delhi. So here he can share that what are the what is this news that Delhi is going to face a lot of pollution and then we should take uh, such kind of provisions and we should take care of ourselves like this we should not leave our home so most of the time and such kind of information students can share and so on these kind of information. So after that the teacher the cutting which the student has that he has one notebook where he paste he will paste that cutting there and at the end of the month the teacher will give mark. On that, with all the cuttings at the same day, teacher will use a mark at the end of the month. As many as cuttings the students have shared in a such way that all the students were able to understand. After that, then teacher gives the marking and teacher chooses oh, at the end of the month that who is the student who has shared that uh, the the best one, the best newspaper cuttings, and the best way to share with other students that student gets the winner of the month. So all these students keep trying that how they what they can do, what they can try in the classroom, how they can share in a better, better. We all know that what benefits the student is going to have. So the first benefit is like that he's going to improve his reading skills, sharing, learning, reading, and so on. There are so many things which the student is going to develop in itself. And some other benefits that he will come to know that how to read newspaper. So it happens so many times that the way we read newspaper is not a good way. We just read the the bold lines, and after that we leave it. We do not read it ahead. But we should to know to know about better the news. We should read the whole article, then we can understand. Sometimes the main headline is different, and the news is different. So we all should know such kind of things. So the students get about this newspaper, and the teacher keep trying once in a week or once in a fifteen days. As for the choice of the teacher, teacher can implement this innovative idea. As he feels comfortable, he can share that. So this was our first innovative ideas, teachers. And after that, now let's go ahead and let's talk about our next innovative idea. That is right identity. So right identity. We all know that we all have some identities. Yes. So you have an identity. My I have an identity that my name is Jagat. And there are many things which come in the identity. So what happens in our classrooms, and which we see in our schools only, that there are so many students that they are not aware about that who is, uh, who is the president of the country, who is the prime minister of the country, who is the chief minister of the state, or who is the uh, DM of the district. And there are so many, uh, there are so many posts, or there are so many positions where the students are not aware of. They do not know what to share, what to know, and they don't know such kind of information. So if they do not know that, how would they know that what is their work to do? We all know that prime minister has some work, the president has some work, the chief minister has some work. Everybody has different works. Even they do not know the work of that. So teacher sees this uh, thing in the classroom. Then teacher says, now I I must do something in my classroom. So my all these students can know that what to do, how they all the other students can learn more about all these things, and they can experience that how to be a prime minister. So what teacher does? First teacher gives the information about this, like what is the president, what is the work, and everything as we all do generally. But after some time, students keep forgetting that. For taking care of that, what teacher does? Teacher plays a role play in the classroom. What kind of role play teacher does? So teacher plays a role play, like teacher gives one position to the prime minister, then teacher shares with that that these are your works and this is how you are going to behave in the classroom as a prime minister. And other people will behave as a people. Somebody will behave as a as an officer and from a different role plays. Everybody will get. So the boy will come or some that student will come ahead and talk about that. Yes, I'm the prime minister. This is the work I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do that for you. And such kind of things will they will keep happening. The student will uh, keep doing the role the same. Uh, the chief minister, president. What is the work of president? So president will come on this uh, on the stage. And after the president, the student president is going to share what is his work. So he will share that this is my work. This is how I am chosen, and this is how the uh, the 
Uh, this is how the vote is casted for me so that I can become a president. The prime minister shares that this is how people vote me and then I come in the parliament and such kind of information. The prime minister will say president DM will share that this is my work. I take care of all the schools. I take care of all the students, food, midday meal and everything. So all the under comes, uh, all the things come under the DM. So they come in the stage and they keep sharing that the students can enjoy and they can also learn about the things, about the identities of the important people. So this is how the teacher plays this innovative idea. And then teacher gives three to four days also to the student. For an example, so teacher today has told that these are the, uh, you will become the prime minister. These are your works. And a teacher gives to other students also at the same time. So they also have to prepare. Teacher can choose anyone. So teacher, uh, for an example, teacher have chosen seven students from the classroom. So these seven students are going to be the prime minister. I can choose any one of you. This is your work. I'm giving you four days, three to four days, basically. And after in these three to four days, what you are going to do is students, you are going to know about it, read about it, practice at your home, do anything, learn acting, see prime minister. If any student has a phone, mostly students do not have phone. If their family can provide, they can search about the prime minister. What is their work? How the president of the country behaves, reacts, how is FS expressions, body gestures, prime minister's body gestures. So they keep searching and and when, when the day comes after four days, all the students will come on the stage and start reacting as that as their character. Teacher can choose anyone. Teacher can choose any of the student that yes, you will come, you come now, you come. So like this, all the students know about the important identities and they can also learn, they can remember it for a very long time. It might be possible that the person will keep changing, but they will remember it for a long time. That is for guarantee. That is for sure. So it might be possible the prime minister will change. It might be possible the president will change, but the work which they any president do any prime minister they, that doesn't change. So students will keep remember that and teacher can keep playing such kind of activities for an example. So if teacher is teaching any lesson in the classroom. So if a teacher is teaching any uh, lesson in the classroom, what teacher can does? So first the teacher can teach that lesson in the classroom and after that, if there is any character, so teacher can play a role play of that character also. For an example, there is a character Ram and the Ram is the person, Ram is the boy who works in the company. This is how he comes in the office. Then he goes home, he takes care of his mother. He, hel he helps his father in his work. So such kind of activities they can do in the classroom so they can remember it. So this is see and learn kind of activity. So this was our uh, second innovative idea teachers. Now let's go ahead and let's talk about our next innovative idea. So that is every, each student is unique. So each student is unique. We all know that all these students are unique and they are always, uh, all the students have different skill sets. All the students have different, uh, different lifestyles. All the students have different way of talking, different way of thinking. Everybody is unique. You teachers are also unique. All the teachers are different. All the teachers have a different way to teach in the classroom. So what happens in this? Every child is unique in this innovative idea. So in this innovative idea, so once the teacher comes in the classroom, teacher sees that there are some students who are uh, like, uh, I'll say physically uh, challenged students. They sometimes we see those students also in a classroom and some students are there. Those are slow learners and some students are there with a very fast learner. They learn things so quickly. So such kind of students we see in all the classes. So what teacher does, so teacher, say, teacher thinks in his mind that the student who uh, people think that he's not a good student, he's a slow learner and the faster they can come together and start studying together. So we all know that this is a very common fact. If any country has a like uh, in, in, if in any country that all the hundred percent people are working for the country, then country grows faster. But if only 70%, 50% people are working for the country, so that country does not grow in as the as much as the it, it should grow. So the same thing happens in our country as well. If there are some students who are physically challenged that the slow learners, if we do not take us with us uh, for the development of the country, though uh, we will not also develop in that speed as we should. So here what government is even saying that 
bring those students in the classroom and start teaching them so what happens in this so in this work teacher does so teacher ask all the students for the like a back bencher also we all know that there are some students they all they always love to sit at the at the last bench and we call them back benchers so what happens so teacher comes in the classroom and teacher see that those students are going back so this fast learner is learning every day he is coming to school every day he is he's learning every day something new something different but what is happening with the student who is sitting in the in the last bench he is going back every day in the the fast learner is going ahead every day so like this it will become a big gap so for making it uh, equal so what teacher does so teacher ask that back bencher that what you are going to do is that you come on the first bench from tomorrow you will sit on the first bench and i'm going to give you one pair so you have to teacher matches some pair in the in the classroom so this pair is going to sit with this pair and that pair is like for an example ram and sham going to be sit together and sonu and monu is going to sit together so they will sit together one slow learner and fast learner so they can keep teaching and if there is any student who is uh, uh, physically challenged and who is like uh, children with special need if we have any child like this so we can find any student who who lives in his neighbor so we can uh, we can make a pair of those students so when he is coming from the his house so he can take that friend also with him so teacher uh, keep trying something like this keep changing their pairs so like this even teacher sees that there are some development and after that once the some days are over so teacher ask those students to that what you are going to do is i'm going to teach one lesson today and tomorrow you students you all the students who used to sit at the bank bench you will also come ahead and you will start teaching the that lesson into the whole class so the whole class gets this uh, in uh, this and this responsibility that they are going to help that student to talk about this so that he can teach in the classroom they can share if they can help if that student needs so like this so teacher keep implementing this innovative idea like this keep forcing those students so after some time even teacher sees that now there are changes in the classroom so there are changes in the classroom and the teacher the student is learning as much as he can so like this the teacher implement this innovative idea and you teachers can also implement this innovative idea and see such amazing uh, benefits also in the classroom that the students who used to sit at the back bench now they are learning something they are also coming together how teacher has implemented this you can get that so now let's go ahead and let's talk about our next innovative idea teachers that is uh, psychological education so psychological uh, psychological uh, this innovative idea now let's talk about this so we all know that there are some students when we talk about like neuro uh, neuro development disorder so there are some students they keep facing such kind of problems that they learn it but they forget it so teacher teaches them uh, something but they after some time they keep forgetting or they are not able to remember that so what teacher does in this so teacher ask those students that the what you are going to do is that after the classroom once the school is over so what you are for at least for one hour you are going to sit here and so teacher arranges some students so like uh, the students who can teach the other students and the students uh, the teacher the student uh, the who are very good who are fast learner so they can help after the school for one hour they can keep teaching at least uh, thrice in a week or uh, two times in a week so they can stay for one more hour and if they stay for one more hour first the teacher calls the parents also that the you uh, that your child will stay at in the school for one for one for one more hour in the school so that he can study or he can uh, other students will teach him so after one hour for an example if 3 o'clock the school gets over so at 4 o'clock the other parents can come and take their student from the school so teacher request those students also that please stay for one hour and other students also that who are going to teach who are really very curious or very uh, uh, like interested to teach in the classroom so teacher request those students also that please come in the classroom and teach uh, these students so that they can also grow or so they can also come on the same level so uh, these were the innovative ideas teachers which i had to share with you i believe that uh, once your schools are open you teachers are also going to implement any one of the idea so 
if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box i would love to read your comments and once i read your comments i would reply on that so till then you teachers have a good day great day bye bye